today we will be making pain relief balm with recipe included. Here are the things we need. 80 grams beeswax. My beeswax is from wild bees in my place. I have a video on how I make beeswax. If you like to watch I'll put the link in the description box below. 120 grams shea butter. 40 grams menthol crystals. 20 grams camphor. 40 grams sweet orange fragrance oil and peppermint fragrance oil. 100 grams orange peel infused in sunflower oil. If you want to learn how to infuse botanicals, you may watch my video. There's a link in the description box below. Sterilized containers. I have a video on how I sterilize my containers. If you like to watch, there's a link in the description box below. Orange mica. I use mica cause it's skin safe. Now, we're going to strain and weigh the 100 grams infused oil. Then, we will mix the beeswax and shea butter into the infused oil, and melt the hard oils using the double boiling method. This recipe is strong and good for adults only. If you like to make for children, adjust the camphor and menthol. Prepare a pan with water and let it boil. When it started to boil, we're going to put the bowl of oil mixture and let the herd oils melt. Let's wait for a few minutes to melt the hard oils. Stir once in a while and watch out. When it turns like this, we're going to turn off the flame and continue stirring until everything has melted. As you can see, everything is in liquid form. Now, we're going to remove the mixture from the pan. Stir constantly and observe the temperature. Add mica according to your desired shade. While waiting for the mixture to cool down a little, prepare the containers.
This time, we're going to transfer the mixture in a container with a spout for easy pouring. Mix camphor and menthol crystals in Toth fragrance oil to melt. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share. Pour the mixture into the oil and stir. Stir until everything is fully incorporated. Slowly pour the mixture into the container. Don't worry if the mixture hardens, by this time, the water in the pan is still hot, just put the container into the pan and let the mixture melt for easy pouring.
If you want to sell this, measure the weight. My recipe is for 8 containers of 50 grams per container. However, I haven't weighed it so I render only 7. I use heat gun to smooth in the surface. Let it cool. This is how it looks after a few minutes. This is the final product. You may put a label and seal it. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.